The scope of this demonstration is to show how SASVIA uh, with a CAS MPP deployment uh, can uh, survive failures uh, thanks to replication of data. In our demo environment, uh, we just have uh, two worker nodes. We have two pods, SASCAS Server Default Worker 0 and SASCAS Server Default Worker 1, and they've been running for more than one day now. So it's an environment that has been up and running for a few hours. We can now open SASVIA and log on into Visual Analytics to show a report. I'm going to use an administrative account because the configuration we are going to change later requires uh, elevated privileges. And now that we are in the front page, we can actually open our sample content. For example, I'm interested in two reports. So I'll go under Products, Visual Analytics. In the Samples folder, I know that we have some sample report I can use. And I will open the Retail Insights one. When Visual Analytics opens the report, it will also trigger an automatic data loading in the CAS backend. And here we can see that we have our data. I can interact with it. For example, I can drill down in a category. You can see the report is working. Let me go back. So data is loaded, the report is working. Uh, now let's see how data is actually loaded in memory. And to do that, I open SAS Studio. And in SAS Studio, I have some code that I have already created and we can use. I know that uh, the specific report we are using uh, uses uh, the random, the rand retail demo table. And so that's the one I'm going uh, to, uh, I'm going to use. Let's submit the code. And I want a bigger bigger side. Okay, here is our result table. As you can see, the data is uh, split, I would say, almost evenly between the two nodes, 174 blocks each. They are all active, rows are similar. And uh, what I'm interested in also here, you can see blocks mapped all, 174, and blocks are mapped zero. It means that every node has uh, all the blocks of data completely mapped into memory and so available uh, to be used for analytics. Now let's move on. Uh, I want to show what happens if we replicate the data. This that you can see here is a okay. in, in this situation, we only have one copy of each block in, uh, each, uh, in each node. And so in case of failures here, we would lose our table. To change this configuration, I'm going now to use Environment Manager. We're going to change the configuration. So we go under Configuration. The property I'm interested in is in a global property. And I know it affects CAS, so I'm going to filter on CAS. There, it's in the group SAS CAS Management Global. I edit these specific properties. You can see here we have let me scroll down. OK, there it is. Loaded tables copy count. It's zero. And I want it to be one because it's the number of additional copies of the table to make, uh, you see, fault tolerance when loading data. That's what we want. In my case, I also set it to one. Save the tables copies count. So if I create a new table and I save it, it will be saved and persisted with additional copies. And temporary tables copies count, third parameter. This is uh, for uh, temporary tables, uh, as the name implies. Uh, for example, when Visual Analytics is doing some intermediate counts uh, and needs to create uh, temporary tables, also the temporary tables can be created with multiple copies. OK, I apply my parameter. And uh, this only influences, uh, uh, as you can see, imagine from the names, uh, tables when they are loaded. Our table is already loaded, so it will not be influenced live. So what I'm going to do now is to unload the table from memory and reload it. 
So we're still in Environment Manager. I go in the Data pane. Here is our table. You can see it was loaded by me, by the SAS administrator. And I unload it. Yes, I want to unload it here. And now CAS is unloading the table from memory. And this way we can reload it with the new option. Gone. There it is. So I go under Data Sources. I select my CAS server instance. I know the table is in the samples. So there it is. I expand my samples. And the table was called Rand Retail Demo. It's the same one that we were just using. And so now I will reload it again. Once uh, it becomes uh, uh, green, it means it will be loaded again. OK, it's green. The table should be loaded. Now, to be sure, it was loaded uh, with two copies of each uh, data block. We can reuse the same code, run it a second time, and you may notice uh, the results will change. Okay, the code is running. There we are. You can see now the number of blocks is double the number of active blocks on both nodes. And now we also have a mapped block. If you remember previously, this column was zero and zero. So there were no unmapped blocks. Now we have mapped blocks, so blocks that are active in memory, and blocks unmapped. So this is the reserve. I, we can say these unmapped blocks on worker zero are the copies of the mapped from block uh, from worker one, and vice versa. So the unmapped on block on uh, worker one are the copy of the mapped on worker zero. So now we have double the amount of data because it is replicated. Why this is important? It's important because uh, in the moment we have a failure, we will see our environment will survive. In this case, I simulate a failure by uh, killing one of the nodes. So I use a Kubernetes command to kill the pod. And one of the interesting things uh, is uh, you will see that uh, actually the pod gets uh, automatically recreated by Kubernetes. And this is something uh, uh, that is uh, part of Kubernetes uh, uh, default behavior. I want to see what happens in the background. So I open a second tab and I will submit you see the pod is terminating. Kubernetes is killing my pod. And let's see. OK, now a new pod has been started by Kubernetes. You can see now it's initializing and it's only 25 seconds old. If we go back to our code, we can submit one more time. And we can see that in the meantime, CAS has acted on the failure. Now. If I check the table, only one worker is active. The other worker has disappeared. And now all of the 348 blocks that are that were actually on the node are active. They are all mapped and zero now unmapped. So all the copies are in memory, the original ones and the ones that were a copy of the node that is now defunct. Why this is important? It's important because if I finally go back to my report, explore and visualize, there we are. It's still as, I, as it was. But can we sure it is actually working? Yes, I can still drill down. I can still go back to perform new calculations, open new tabs. And you can see that the report is basically unaffected. There it comes. We can check if in the meantime, Kubernetes has finished loading. Yes, now it's running. So Kubernetes has restarted a new worker in place of the previous one. 
But uh, as we have seen from uh, SAS Studio and the distribution of our data, just to be sure, let's run it one more time. And you can see that although uh, the, uh, the new worker is uh, alive, the table is still on the only surviving node, but all the blocks are there. If you want to uh, redistribute data so that they are again on both nodes, you have to unload and reload the table one more time. But that's uh, outside the focus of this demo.